Hi friends, welcome back. So today I just started setting up some of my um, my planners for 2019, obviously, and then I thought I'd go ahead and film it. Sometimes it's really hard to film because I don't know what content you guys want to see, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. So these are my half letter size, and these are from Annie Plans Printables. That is the name of the shop. It's Annie, A-N-N-I-E, Plans Printables.com. Um, and I get the half letter size for my work. This is for my my work planner. Let me show you guys. Here it is. So if you guys are have been following me for a while, you guys know that this is the planner that I've been using. So this is actually a Tool T U L um, Junior um, Disc Bound Notebook. So this is what I have decided is absolutely my favorite planner for my work planner, and it's also my catch-all planner. So it's my work and my catch-all planner, and then I kind of go from there. Um, so this is what I'm in every single day, all day long, and so that's kind of why it's my catch-all planner. Um, so I kind of showed this. Now you can also get these, they have, they're called ARC Disbound, it's just A-R-C, ARC Disbound no Notebooks by Staples, and they're online as well. You can buy them at, at staples.com, and they're like $3.50, so they're very aff affordable. And it's just a very thin plastic cover. I like the thin, I don't want a bulky cover for work, because I'm constantly flipping it around to write in and out of. So that's why I want a spiral bound or a disc bound, and I find the disc bound is just more, ex it's more customizable for me. So that is what I'm going, I use every year. I go back to this, and I end up staying in this for quite a while because I like it so much. But since I'm working full time and I'm also watching my grandson and I'm doing everything else, this, like you can see, this really does, it's my catch everything planner. I use it, it's completely filled out. So I'm going to be setting this up for January um, and getting ready for the new year. So I just thought I'd take you guys along. So I'm not sure how I'm going to film this because if I do a talk through, it will be very long. Otherwise, I'll do a sped through, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to talk through it as if I'm going to talk through it and then we'll go from there. So anyway. The, this, the pages that I use, I've already got the, the ones printed in here. This is from Paper and Glam, in case you guys don't know what that is, I'll show you. So I follow Paper and Glam. I get their um, seasonal living list. This is the January seasonal living list, and it's just paperandglam.com. And she's a lovely lady from California, and I follow her, and I also do her Bible. It's God and Glam, so I follow those. So I have that just punched and put in here. And I've already printed off these, these inserts. They're t uh, two months in one insert, and I really like that. Um, and so this starts where this one um, keep this one takes off. So this one starts. This one goes until the sixth of January. So then that this one will end, and this one will be, will begin. And it just has notes, and it has your um, week on three pages plus a list. And as you guys saw in the other ones, I use this all the way. I love it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mute my phone. Just mute my phone. Okay. Anyway, so I really, really love this. It's very, very, very functional. So if you guys are looking for something that's super functional that you guys can just write in and go, this is the planner for you. These are the pages for you. It, the thing about finding planner pieces, I don't really know if it's actually achievable. I like to switch things out a lot. Um, and so I'll probably start with this and I'll end with something else. But who knows, you know. I just find this way more convenient than, um, than um, a traveler's notebook for work because it is, like I said, I can flip it over. And I can just write and go. I can throw this around. It's not a big deal. And I really love the plastic cover because I can I can decorate it as well to the this the theme I want. So this I had for Christmas. I'll be decorating it for January. You'll see everything. My goodness. Sorry, it's work calls. They're just going like crazy. I'm trying to take the morning off. But anyway, okay. So that is what I have going on in here. I also have just some lists. Let me just kind of show you a blank one. Here's a blank one. These again are from the ARC. They're from Staples. You can get these online at staples.com or I think they even have them on Amazon. They have them on Amazon. I'll link them below for you. But I love these for work because it just says goal, problem, um, and project. You can write whatever you're working on there. You get your plan or strategies here. You have your results, your notes, and then different actions and steps that you need to take. Plus you have a grid on the back. So I use these constantly. Um, I go through them all the time. And then I have some tool pages. These are what comes with the tool notebook. These are just the line pages that you can like write your project, your date, or whatever, or your notes for the day, however you want to use it there. Um, I have other things written on there. And then this is an order tracker sheet. It's half letter size. This is again from Annie Plants Printables. I have a pin loop on here. Let me just pull it off, just a little clip. Um, I don't want to share everything, but there, they look like this. So you have your shop, your amount, your sent and received. And I just use these for purchases, even for online, like Amazon purchases and things. I use it for that as well, kind of keep track of everything. But I don't usually put the amount. I, I will put the shop and then the item here and then sent received. It's kind of how I use it. 
And then I have a pocket. This actually, um, these are actually a Martha Stewart. They come in a pack of three. Um, so I will link them below for you guys. And then I just have, again, this is the paper and glam stuff that I follow. And then this is just the back of it with that. So I didn't realize, because these are half letters. So you just take the eight and a half by 11. Here, I'll show you. So these are my monthly inserts. And then I have my, um, my cutter right here. I'll go down to the edge so you can see that I cut, I use the cutter backwards, but um, these are just some um, grid pages from Annie Plans Printables. And so all you really need to do is just, they have a little mark, but truly you don't even really need the mark. Because if you just go to five and a half, um, like that, and just slice it, you're done. It's right and a half, and that's all you need to do. There's your front and back. And so I'm going to be using these for like a bullet journal a little bit um, on the go when I'm traveling. We'll see how it works. But I just have a bunch of these. They're just grid paper. So anyway, I didn't realize when I was cutting those front pages last month that um, I wanted to cut them a little bit bigger than that. because I, I just cut it to be just in half and that was it. I didn't realize I wanted, I wanted it to be just a little bit bigger than the, um, the paper it's, itself. So I'm going to do that now as well. I'll just do everything really quickly. I don't do a lot of decorating for my work planner because it is a work planner. Like I said, it's completely 100% functional. And it's also like my pre-planner. It's kind of my everything planner. Like I said, it's, like, it's my master planner, I guess. I really feel like if you're going to be a multiple planner user, like I am, then you really need to have um, like a master, a master planner. And I put this white foam board down just to kind of help you guys see better. So hopefully that works. So I just have a Levenger punch is what it is called. And I'm just going to punch these and put them in. So these are the discs that it comes with. I think they're half inch. And I like it to be thinner. I don't like my notebooks to be super thick, which is one of the reasons I use more than one notebook is because I like it that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch these. Let me get my Levenger. So this is a Levenger punch. I got it on Amazon. I get everything on Amazon. And it does have a setting. I'll just show you. Get these picked up. Okay. So on the, in the inside here, it does have a setting. And it says right here, Junior. So it has Junior. You push this down, and then you can adjust it. It has letter, is that it? Oh no, right here. So it has junior letter, uh, compact A5 or three by three by five, which is A5, or it says uh, micro. But I just keep it on junior, and that's what I use for my punches, because junior is the half letter. So this will take about four or five. My paper is pretty thick, so when you're doing it, I kind of make sure that they're all level on the side that I'm punching. You can make it level on this side if you want to, it doesn't matter. But I just do that, make sure that they're level on the side that I'm punching. I slip it in there. Whoops. There we go, make sure it's all the way back. And just punch it. And I find this way easier than um, using the Happy Planner punches. I don't think they work well. So the only error that you have to make is you just have to, I mean the only thing you have to be careful is when you're punching these, is to make sure that you're punching the right side. So for instance, I just punch that side. If I went ahead and punched this, it would be the wrong side. And it's easier to, it's easier than you think to make that mistake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push this in here. And then as you can see, it's the right side. But I've done it many times the wrong side. So just like that. Okay, and then I'll just do the last of these really quickly. said it's very easy to do the wrong side. And it's not that difficult and if you if, if it doesn't punch smooth for you you can do you can punch um, <clears throat> less at a time. I find it to be pretty easy to use. Okay so what I do with these like I said this is my pre-planner as well so it's my work planner and pre-planner. So these are how I pre-plan everything. I, they're the monthly view and this is the simple I think her simple font from Annie Plans. I love this font I think it's super pretty. So I'm going to decorate January as well with you guys just to kind of show you guys how I do it. But <clears throat> let me just go ahead and punch the rest of these. This is just the, I use these for listing or whatever. I'm thinking I might use these for pre, pre layouts for bullet journaling. I do bullet journal. It is my journal though. So it's something I will not share on here. I might share a few more setups, but I honestly am not a huge jar. So I use stamps or I use, um, I do, I do draw some, but or I just use stickers, and that's, you know, how I roll. That's how it works for me, but anyway. Okay, 
So there is that. Now I've already punched my other inserts, so I'm going to print a couple more inserts for this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the other two inserts. Now these are from Jacinia's printables, just like the, the other ones. I have three different inserts here I'm going to cut. So I want to make sure that you guys understand, this is a half, while Annie planned printables, she sells half letter. Um, so hers, these right here, these two, are actually half letter disc bound, okay, it's, or, or ring bound is what they're called. Um, but Jacinia does not sell half letter, but she sells a B6 ring bound, so these are B6 ring bound. That's why you can see kind of the registration marks here on the edges. This is actually to cut to trim down to fit for a B6 rings. So you totally can do that, but for these inserts, I'm not. I'm using them for the half letter, and I don't mind the little registration marks. Um, I'm sure that if you wanted to, you could wipe them out or whatever, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these uh, three different inserts here, um, and then I will come back. because I'll cut them and come back, because I don't know if you guys need to sit there and watch me cut all of these and punch them. But it's going to be the same process I already showed you, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm cut out. Um, the inserts that I want to use, and now I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to set this all up for the next year. So I will walk through these inserts as well and as I get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out um, everything out of this planner and then we'll put everything back. Um, I, just, I still kept a few things in here and I do have one week left in this planner so I will leave that as well. I'm going to leave, whoops, this is where I'm at. Wait, yeah, like that, okay. So I'm just going to leave this here because this is the last week in here. And this insert that I'm in today is actually Saturday the 29th. So I'm going to leave this all in here. And then I have my January insert here. Um, these are my January and February. So I'm actually going to take out um, February. So this goes through right to the 27th. This is the last week of January. So I'm just going to take this part out. And I have a folder that I save and keep this in. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I have my Girl Boss folder here. I'm going to take that out and take out all, all my notes that I use for everything. I'm going to take everything out of my folder for now just to get the, the bulk out of it. And then I have my shop the orders, which I'm going to keep in there. Okay, so now I'm going to walk through. Th Wait, let me take this out. That's it. Now I'm ready. Okay, so now I'm ready to walk through it. So here's my my daily inserts. And I, I did take the page off, but that's okay. These will go when I have another thing I keep them in. So what I have going on over here is I have a few inserts. So this one here is from Justinia Printables um, on Etsy. Um, I will link these shops below so you guys can have everything because I've had some questions. So again, this is for a B6 ring, so you guys can see the registration marks. Uh, like I said, I don't mind. You can even decorate that with washi, which is what I'll probably end up doing. Um, so I just cut it in half and then I arc punch it and it works perfectly for this half letter size. So this is her um, year at a glance. So all it comes with is you have your two note pages here and then you have your year at a glance, which this one is pink. I think she also has one that's just like light gray. I decided to go with the girly color or just go with pink and then you have a notes there. So this is just kind of a fun insert to have. You don't need to have it, of course, but I want to have it. So I'm going to stick that right in the front. Normally these would be in the back, but for right now, because I'm pre-planning for the year, I want them in front. Next is I have a goal getter. Again, this is Jacinia. Um, this is her insert. This one is, um, so when you purchase the goal getter, you get three different um, packages. You get like a, a four box, six box, or a 12 box. This is a, the six box, and I'll show you the difference. So it says goal getter in her beautiful handwriting. Then you have your reflections from 2019. You have two pages of that. And then you have your word of the year. And there's lots of places right now that are you can buy uh, download prints for word of the year if you want to. And then you have um, a, just a really pretty little font here. And, and so the adventure begins. And then here are your goals. So this is where it is different. So this is six boxes and they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can get four, so you can get two on each sheet or you'll get um, 12, which is six on each sheet. And they're smaller, of course, they're in half like that. So that is the difference when you print them out, just so you guys are aware. And then you can have your focuses on and let go of. Things you want to focus on, things you want to let go of. And then it gives you some nice, lightly pink gridded pages here. Um, and then you have your, um, these are your like, I guess if you meet your goals for each of the day or different habit trackers, whatever you want to um, to keep track of here. It says this this year, and then you can keep things you want to focus on here. And then you have another grid page, just a couple more grid pages here, and at the very end you have your reflections at the end of the year. So because, again, because I am, this is the beginning of the year here, and I'm getting ready to write a bunch of, of uh, different work goals. Normally I do this on my birthday, but this year I'm going to be doing it here. So I'm going to stick this here. 
And then the next thing I'm going to be using, this is new, also from Jacinia. These are all Jacinia I'm showing you right now. These are her daily, so this is just for January. And again, this is a ring bound. These are all B6 ring bound. Um, this is what it looks like. It says, take note. And then you have your week at a glance here, and then you have your dailies. And I kind of want to use this for a listing um, and see if I like it better than using this side here. You can see, I, I fill this up so quickly, I honestly need more listing. So I think maybe I will like this, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm not going to put the full um, month in here. I'm only going to put the first two weeks. So this is week one, and you have your seven days. And then you have... Then you have week two, here's your week at a glance, and then you have your next seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven there. And I'm going to save these again with my other inserts. So like I said, I have a folder. I, just, I, I print them all out together, and then I just save them. So this is going to go next. And I might move these. What I'm thinking of is moving these um, and putting them like in between, like on the week that we're on. So like one, one at a day, I'll just stick it in here, and that'll be the one I'm working on. So I might do that, I might not, we'll see what I'm going to do there. So then I have my weekly, so I have my daily, then my weekly here, as I've already shown you guys. And then I'm going to get my, um, my yearly. So these are my yearly printable, yearly inserts from Annie Plans Printables. And again, I've already shown these, they're just your month at a glance. So I'm just going to stick these in here. And then I, after that, I have an order tracker at the bottom there, and then I'm going to put my grid in here. So, put that in there, and that is it. Now, again, I don't put the full month. I could, but I like to keep them fairly thin. They, both of these will fit in here just fine. But then I have my order tracker, and then on the back here, I'm going to go ahead and put back in. I have some notes and whatnot. Um, some of them are done. This one I need to keep in there. I need to keep all these notes in here. So I'm just going to put them this way because they have some private information. Obviously, this is my work planner, right? So I'm going to keep them this way. There we go. And then, is there anything else from there I want to keep right now? I don't think so. So I have my pocket here. It's clear as well. Again, I will link this below so you guys will have everything that I use. I cannot find this... Um, this dashboard, my particular one on Amazon anymore, but I can find the ARC one, so I'll list that one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have that all set. This is how I want it. So now I want to grab my paper. I use this paper pack to set up my standard um, traveler's notebook. So this is the one I'm also going to use for January. I just love these colors for January. I already have some cut out, and I want to use my stash, use what I have. I'm trying really hard this year, that's a goal of mine, is to use my stash and not buy more. So I have canceled all of my subscriptions, I've canceled everything, and I'm just going to use what I have. So I'm going to count and see how many I need. So how many different I want to cover. Um, so, I'm gonna, so I'll have uh, one, and then I'll have two, and then this is three, and then I'll have four for the four for the weekly, and then after the weekly, I have the yearly, so that's five, six, seven, and then eight, So, and then I also want to back, so I need nine total papers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight. So I just need one more than what I've got here. So, oh, oops. I see another one right there. Is that it? No. But again, these are all my scraps and I'll incorporate these because I really like my work thing, my work planner to be pretty as well because I'm in and out of it all the time. So these are things I'm going to use to decorate the top. Okay. So I just need one more. I'm just going to use, like I said, let me, actually, let me go ahead and cut these and see if I can act, end up using one of these for, I might be able to use an extra one. So I'll just go ahead and cut these. So let me grab my cutter, and now my paper trimmer is from um, Stampin' Up. I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator, and I do have a link. It is below if you guys are interested in purchasing this. So I'm just going to put this here. Okay. So I already know that I want this to be bigger than five and a, and a half. So I think I'm going to cut them at six, and then we can trim down from there. 
but I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut these all at six right now. Um, the length is the f is fine, so I still want to keep it the same length. And I think this is what eleven. No, it's eight and a half. Of course, it's eight and a half. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm going to cut them all at six by eight and a half, and then we can trim down from there. If I wanted a little shorter than that, actually, let me just take one, and then let me see. I think that's too big, so I think I want it at five and three quarters. Let me punch this. It says Winter Wonderland, in case you guys are wondering what that says. And I'm just going to see how I like that size. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. I wanted a little bit of a lip so I can leave tabs there. So yeah, so I just wanted a little bit longer. So that is five and three quarters, so it's just a tiny bit longer than what I have. And I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these that way. So. So I ended up using the washi strip paper here, and I'm going to use this for the back. So this is going to be the only one I'm going to punch face up. So, whoops, this is backwards. Let me push it down. Again, this is still on that setting, the, the disc, uh, the junior setting. So I, I punched this one on this side so that you will see it when I put it in the, the planner. There. So when it closes, you can see that really pretty design. So that's it. The rest of them I'm going to punch. I'm going to punch. Um, upside down. There we go. So there's all my inserts. So now I want to make tabs, and I'm going to show you guys a pretty quick and easy way to make them. Um, I make them just with the paper that I have left over. So I'm going to take the edges of the paper that I've already cut. Um, actually, I think this is exactly, these strips are probably the size I need. Yes, they're two inches. So you want a two inch strip, and you want it, it depends on how big you want your, um, your tab to be. I'm going to cut this at, um, so I want about four inches, I think. Let me cut it first and I'll see. No, I think I can do it at three inches. Let's do it at three inches. Okay, so you're gonna cut it at three inches. If you wanna, I'm gonna score this in half at one and a half. So this is this cutter score blade. So the light one scores. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do is three and a half, I think is all I want. Is that all I want? Yes. So this is three and a half scored at one and a half, and then this is the simple way to do it. Obviously, I've scored it. You don't have to score it, but it just I like to do it, so I'm going to. On all of mine, you'll see. So I'm using a bone folder. Again, you don't have to. 
and then I have an, an, an edge punch. So again, these all these products here are from Stampin' Up. Like I said, I do sell Stampin' Up. It's listed below. You're welcome to purchase them. You just stick the corner in the, the rounder here and just round those edges, and then you have created yourself a label. So now I have a tab that I can put on, and it's very easy. So I'm just going to do that for all the different um, folders that I've just done. Let's see. Obviously, I don't want anyone for the front or the back, so I don't need that. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the rest of these, cut them all at three, and because again, this is two inches, so two by three, scored at one and a half. So I think what I'll do first is I'll flip it over. I'll score it at one and a half. Uh oh, my little man's crying downstairs. And I'll cut it at three, and I'm just going to do that for all of them. So I will again, one and a half. I'm going to score. Whoops, one and a half. I'm going to score it. It just makes it easier. Again, you don't have to. You can just cut it. Put it at three. Let's see, so I don't need the Winter Wonderland. This one here. I don't need that one. But the rest of them I need. So let me grab them all so they're all right here. Have a little assembly line going. Already done that one. And this one. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. And you want to score it the opposite way of the way of the way you want to fold it. So that's why I'm doing this upside down. Um, again, you guys can do it however you like. But I just. I love them to match, and this just kind of helps so that you don't have to worry about it. I've had several people ask me how to do it, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. And then three. And then you are ready. And then, they are, then again, I'm just going to take all of these that I've just done. You saw what I did. So I'm just going to do that with all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and bone, use the bone folders. And if it's not exactly in half, it's okay because you can trim it up. They're not really going to be seen. I mean, you're not going to be comparing it because one will be on one side of the paper and the other one will be on the other. So it really doesn't matter. But there we are. And then if you guys have a label maker, this is the time to make your labels. If you already have some, sometimes you can buy them at the store. I actually already have some from a planner subscription box that I had, so I'm just going to pull those out. Um, I've seen them, though, at Michael's. I'm pretty sure I saw them at Michael's. You can also, like I said, just go on your um, go on your computer and type them up using a really pretty font that you want, and you can print them on clear paper, clear sticker paper, and that works as well. So there we go. So if you're, if you want them to be straight, now's the time to like trim them up if you wanted to. Like, but like I said, it doesn't really bother me. Mine, these are pretty. Most of them are pretty straight anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So then the next thing you can either glue these or use a tape runner. I have my uh, Stampin' Up tape runner here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to go to the first section. So this is where I like to um, make sure I have them all out because I'm going to just, I'm going to, you can put it down as long, as far as you want, have as much sticking out as you want. I don't want it to go past the um, this. I want it to just have a little bit of a lip. So that's why I'm going to measure the first one, seeing where I want it, and then I will measure all the rest of them. So that's about where I want it. So let me grab a pencil. and mark it there. And then I'm just going to mark all these the same. So I don't have to measure anything. So I'm just going to the edge and then I'm just going to mark so that I know where I want them all. And if you want to get your measuring tape out and measure them, of course you can. I just find you don't really need to. It's more about the creating than the exact every, of everything. And this is, I'm using pencil so that I can erase. I want this. So I, no, I want this side. Yes, I do. So I can erase it when I get in there. You know, that's why I'm using pencil. So this is my indicator of how far to, um, to 
glue it onto each little tab. Whoops, that's there we go. So that's all. That's all I'm doing. So then I'm, again, I'm going to grab my tape runner. I'm going to go to my first section here. I like to do my first and my last section and then meet the rest in the middle, but you guys can do it however you want to. I'm just doing a little bit on each side and I'll do a little bit in the middle so that it will it'll fit. So this one's going to go right to the edge. So again, I'm going to top, start with the first one and I want it to go all the way to the top on this one. So I'm just lining it up to the paper and then I'm just going to fold that over. And boom, there's my first tab. So you can cut them smaller if you want to, however you want to do it. So let me see how many will fit across, and then I will know where to start. I think four is going to be the maximum. So I'm going to start with the fourth one. So this is one, two, three, and the last, this is the last one here, four. So I'm going to do th this one on the very bottom first, and that's how I like to do it. Whoops. You need to go right to the edge, though, so that it will stay on. And then again, I'm starting with the top. I'm just going to line it up where I want it. Like that, kind of push it down, and then fold it over, and you're good. And you can, you know, right now I can go ahead and erase that little line, and you won't even know that it was there. There. Okay, so then I'm going to take the next two, and I'm going to eyeball these to kind of make sure they're straight, because I'm really, I like my things to be super straight. And let me measure this one. And you can just lay them out there. This is not this is not necessary what I'm doing. Okay. So like about like that. So now I know where I want them. And then I'm just gonna open it up. Oops, wrong way. Put it right at the edge. I'm just doing one in the middle so it'll stay. So I'm holding this here. Again, where's my marked edge? Here it is. Just like that. Just going to erase my little pencil mark. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And then I know how much of a gap I wanted to leave there. Oops, I'm poking holes with my ring. <laughs> and then it was about there, I believe. There we go. And that looks pretty good, see? So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. I have three more. And then I have these. So what I end up doing now, so I'm going to go to the next one, which is this one here. So again, the top ones are always the easiest, the top and bottom, because you're lining them up anyway with the, um, the paper, so they're super easy. Whoops. If you use glue, you'll have a little more give, a little more time to like finesse, but I just didn't want to get a chance getting glue on my, um, my inserts. So I'm just going to take this one and put it underneath. Get it. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how I do it because I like things to be all neat and tidy. And then I'm just going to use this as a guide. It's already there. And then it's pretty much exactly where the other one is. Then I'll put this one back. And I will grab out next one goes, goes here of course you guys can decorate this however you want to I'm not going to really decorate it much because um, this is my this is my work planner and this is pretty much as decorated as I want it to do I could cut out shapes we could do all different kinds of things though there's so many things you can do to make your planners you know, obviously, you guys know there's so many people out there. And I find that the planner community is really wonderful. You know, I've met a lot of people, and I've only had a couple of people that really weren't who they say they were. Everybody else have just been, have just been fabulous. So, you know, you ain't run into that anywhere, though. There we go. Put this back where it was. 
this was what the yeah. All right, and there is my planner. So now the pin, I just have a, one of these little loops for my pin. You can put it on the front here if you want to, um, or you can put it on the pages and it kind of slips in here like that. Or you can, I think it's meant to go on the side, but I don't have it. But I have another one ordered and I'll show you when I get that. But for now, this is what I'm using. And I'm actually just going to put it on the back here and um, just keep my pin tucked in like that. So I, whoops, just like that. There. That's it. So I could decorate these if you wanted to decorate these. You could do whatever you wanted to do. This is just how I want it. I'm going to go ahead and print out some um, labels. I think I have some. Let me look and see. Okay, I happen to have these. They, they are from a Planner Society box. Um, these are her labels. So I could have used these, but like I said, I wanted them to match. So I'm just going to see what I have here, if any of these will work. This is what I usually use. And she gives you two of each. So, you, so I have two of the, all of these. So you have your wish list, church, fitness, currently goals, planning, favorite, Instagram. Schedule, then personal this week, next week, my list, girl boss, meal plan, follow up no, notes. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, I have weekly and daily, so I'm going to use those. And I'll use the calendar for the, um, the yearly, I think. Oops. So I'm going to use... Let me get my tweezers. And then I believe this is the, oh, this is my goals. This is my, my, uh, no, this isn't the calendar, so I don't know what I'm going to do for those. Let me go back to, this is it right here, right? This is the one I want. Okay, so this is my, my, my monthly, so it's my calendar. So that's the one I'm just going to stick at the top there. There we go. And then like I said, I have my weekly. So I'm going to use that for these here. And then these are my daily. So I'm going to get a daily. are my dailies. And these are my goals and whatnot. So let me see if I have a, does she have a goal? Um, she has Girl Boss, which I like to use. That's projects, lists. Let's see goals on here. Does she have it on this one? Goals, she does. Okay. So I'm just going to use the goals. I'm trying to be really, one of my goals is to use my stash, like I was, I think I said that earlier in this, in this I forget what I say, but um, I'm really trying to use what I have before I order more of anything. So, I'm trying to be better about that. So this is my year at a glance, and I don't have a tab for that one, so I feel fine with that. And then I have my calendar, and then these are my, it's my dot grid, and then I have my, my orders, and then what is this, my notes. So, let me see if I have what I have here. Plan, church, favorites, budget, purchases. Purchases. I can use it for purchases. That's perfect. So, I'll use that for my, whoops, for this one. Right? Yep, yeah, shop orders. And then, what do I have left? I have my grid, and then I have my notes. So I think she has a notes on here. What is today's Instagram? Not wish list. So okay, so I'm not going to use anything from this one. I'm going to use one of these. Let's see. This week, projects, my list. So she has notes, so I think I'm going to use notes on that last one. If I can get it off of here. There we go. Okay. 
I'm trying to not get the other sticker. I'm going to leave work. Cut work back in there. Save that for another one. Okay, so notes is going to go on the very back here. I'm just centering these. That's why I'm using the tweezers, just to help me center them on the tab. And then the last one here is my dot grid, but I don't know what I want to use for that. To buy must do is... I'm just going to use personal, I think, is what I'll use for that. Because that's what it is. It's personal. Okay. So there we go. So that is everything. So now you can see all my different tabs. There we go. I can add more if I need to. I'll put these back in my... Put these back away. But that is it, you guys. I've set up for... 2019 and these are the inserts that I'm going to be using again I'll just do a quick little walkthrough in case you guys are just joining me I'll make sure I put the the, no, the number for this um so here's my insert my first page here and I don't have a tab on purpose because this is just my year to glance so this is just gonna be for me quick reference then I'll have my goals here and then I'll have my dailies in here and then I have my weekly inserts which I'll go to the new insert here, look like this. And you have your notes, and you have your week on three pages plus lists. So you have your sidebar, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you have a happy thought, next week notes, your top three priorities for the week, don't forget work to-dos and just to-dos, or I can use this for shopping lists, which I end up doing. And then I have my calendar, which are my monthlies here. And these are from Annie Plans Printables, half letter size. Um, and that's what they look like. They're, she has two different fonts. She has a cur cursive font and like a classic font. I think this was classic. I can't remember. But anyway, so that's this one. And I have all these all the way through December. I like this because this, again, is my future planning, my forward planning. It goes to December. And then you have a couple of lined inserts there. Then I have my personal, which is my dot grid, which I'm going to be using to kind of write some ideas for my bullet journal. I just kind of wanted a place as I'm in between different work things. I have a place to write any of that down. So that's my personal section. And then I have my purchases, my order tracker here, which you guys have seen. Again, this is from Annie Punt's Printables. This isn't the back. I took off the extra sheets, but it looks like that. And then I have my notes, which are all my notes for work, so I'm not going to show all those. Here's a blank one like that. And then on the very back, I just have my pocket here, which I'm going to keep. I always keep the current... Um, the current week. This is the current week that I'm decorating on. And then I keep my little mama minis. Uh, these are from Exomama Plans. I have a coupon code for her. It's Tanya15 for 15% off. But I use all those, and I keep those in here. Those are the ones I use for this planner. And that is it. So then I have my back page here, which, again, I do not need a tab for. It goes... And it, go, it doesn't go quite as long as this folder, though, so keep that in mind. But I don't, I don't mind about that. And there's my back. So even though it, I like the Winter Wonderland, because it's, this can be for winter, not just Christmas, and I love these colors. I love silver and light blues and light greens and, and, and tans for, um, for the winter season. So anyway, that is everything, you guys. I'll try to remember to link everything below that I can possibly find. Um, I'll, I'll link the, the websites as well for the inserts. And um, if you are interested in the Planner Society, I will link that as well. She's starting a new, different subscription, so I... I canceled mine, like I said, because I'm trying to use what I have, but if you guys are interested in this, I'll link it there for you as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you some fun ideas. I'm wishing you guys a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.